This video will show you how to document in a growth chart. It is important to know that there are different types of growth charts and you will want to speak with your provider to ensure that you are using the correct growth chart for your patient. Let's start with how to read a growth chart. This growth chart is a growth chart for boys birth to 24 months. This chart shows the head circumference on the left. As you can see, you can document in inches and centimeters. On the bottom left is weight, where you can document in pounds or kilograms. At the top, you will see the age of the child. This is where you will locate the age of your patient. This bottom section is where you will document all of the data that you collect from your patient at every visit that they come to. Let's do an example. Let's say that your patient was six months old and had a head circumference of 18 inches. You will locate the six at the top, meaning that the patient is six months of age, and you will also locate the 18 inches on the left, meaning that is the head circumference of your patient. You will make both of those connections meet and then make a mark in the chart. The mark that you made is located on the percentile line. You can see that the percentile line curves up and towards the right. To find the percentile, you will locate the mark that you made and follow the line that it is on to go towards the percentile numbers in the right hand side. For example, our patient that is six months old with a head circumference of 18 inches. If you go over to the top right and follow the percentile line, you will see that the patient is in approximately the 98th percentile. What this means is that if this child was in a room with 100 children, this child's head circumference would be larger than 98 of the children in the room, so 98th percentile. It's very important to remember that a larger number is not always better and that a smaller number does not mean that it is worse. Providers typically go by trends. Remember to always document everything in the patient's medical chart and check with the provider and ask any questions that you may have. 